beating eggs. They're going into quiche pies baked at Shreveport's Valencia Park Community Center. LSU Egg Center extension agents and volunteers helped 30 children take their garden harvest to the lunch table yesterday. Middle schoolers delivered a cooking demonstration for seniors who later dined on quiche, salad, and mint tea, all made with fresh ingredients picked from the Valencia Park Stoner Hill Community Garden. Today we'll be making a savory french pie called quiche. Mmm, tasty. <laughs> this is Swiss chard. It's from the Beat family. You can tell by how it's with the red veins it has. No, it's not food cover. Sixth grader Miles Mitchell is feeling more confident in the kitchen and the garden. He plans on cooking for his family reunion this summer. I learned about Swiss chard and mushrooms and um, cabbage. Yeah, I learned a lot. Sometimes you can cook things that uh, sometimes your parents don't have time to do, it, but you can do it yourself. Volunteer Deborah Coleman is part of the Red River Coalition of Community Gardeners. She likes to show the children that they can wash off the veggies and eat them raw right in the garden patch. We have this rule that you can't say the word nasty, you know, <laughs> so you can only say uh, I, I, I don't like it or I don't care for it and just kind of ease it out of your mouth and go on. But sometimes that second try or if somebody say, oh, this is good, they'll try it a second time and they, they might like it. The coalition is planting 10 community gardens in Shreveport. LSU Egg Center Extension agent Grace Peterson has been nurturing the concept for the past four years. A lot of these kids, you know, they'll be taking some of this produce home with them, and we want them to be able to um, prepare it for their families. And you'll notice you go out there, a lot of them are boys, and we think young men is especially important for them, not just the young women, but the young men to learn how to cook too, and they really like it. The coalition will prepare beds and plan for the spring tomorrow at the Highland Community Garden beginning at 9 a.m.